Welcome to Goldcrest Valley, a guide to the Lizard Floodlight Trailer with me, Mr. Sealy P. I am back at the shop and we are looking at another mod that came out uh, today. I'm just going to pop into the store and it comes under miscellaneous. Go in there, it is the new Lizard Floodlight Trailer. Transportable floodlights help you illuminate various places at night. <clears throat> it was in the mod hub today. 8,700 to buy or 957 to lease per day. 87. It's not hugely expensive to lease it, but anyway, um, if you go into the main color, you can choose the color of the one you have. You can match it to tractors and various different things, or just pick your favorite color. It really is up to you i'm going to leave it as it is and buy one yes i want to purchase it so having a quick look over here here it is hard to see really isn't it it's dark what i could probably do with is a light but there you go i'm going to just take this out and show you how it works just got myself a little tractor just to flit about in to do a couple of little jobs. Now, it's interesting because unlike conveyor belts and things, you don't get into it. I have one set up over here already. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, my money isn't going down. So it's not like when you put one up, it's like hiring a worker either. It has no fuel. My tractor does, but the trailer doesn't. So I'm a little bit baffled at the moment. I assume once you've bought it, that's just it. You use it as much as you want. Now, you can only operate it when it's attached to a tractor on PlayStation 4. I don't know about PC or anything like that. So if I now press my left one shoulder button, it will give me some options. I can tilt it, turn it. If you look in here at the trailer, I'm turning it side to side. I can tilt it backwards and forwards to adjust the beam when it's turned on. If I now press left shoulder button and turn on floodlight. It turns it on automatically. Now linked to the other one that's already there. I can just get in the right position. Tilt it backwards and forwards. Or up and down, however you want to look at it. I can turn it. So you can link more than one together, put four out if you want to, to illuminate a workspace at night. Now, if I disconnect the tractor now, it stays on. Turn the lights of this off, and the engine, then quickly jump out. So, it's on, it's bright, I can see what I'm doing. If you're doing late night logging, anything like that, I guess it would come in pretty handy um, for doing that kind of thing. But if you go up to it and press on PlayStation, press, press the square button, you can't get into it. It's not like the, the conveyor belts. So it's not using any fuel. It's not taking money off of my total like a worker would do. It just is there. It is it. It's a floodlight. On the back of a tractor, set it up, put it to the, up, open, on, tilt it and turn it to wherever you want it. And you've got a mobile floodlight. I did this one in red, don't know why. Um, but there you go. That's the Lizard Mobile Floodlight. Nice little addition, especially if you're late night logging or you want to go out and bury a body, um, anything like that. It will probably come in quite handy, I would imagine, if that's the kind of thing that you're into. Anyway, that's it for me for this one. Another quick one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. But that's it. Lizard Mobile Floodlights. Thanks for watching.